Hello, this is Chris, and I'm here to show you my new homemade high voltage generator. It's made entirely out of uh, either scrap parts, car parts, or stuff uh, readily available at Radio Shack, and fits uh, entirely in a fishing tackle box. The it is essentially an ignition coil generator with two ignition coils, which are there and there, which uh, I got at a local automotive uh, supply store. Uh, driven by a variable frequency and variable duty cycle square wave oscillator which is on the breadboard duct tape at the top. The, there's a current adjust knob right here which will adjust the output current. Um, uh, coarse frequency adjust which switches capacitors under here and a uh, frequency adjust uh, knob right here and there's a duty cycle adjust knob which you can't see but it's underneath the shelf. And uh, the uh, this is the oscillator connected to a simple amplifying transistor, which is connected essentially to uh, two two one three zero five five transistors mounted on this heat sink here. It's not a TO3 heat sink, so I had to just tie it on with string, but it works reasonably well. Uh, the uh, entire thing is powered by a, uh, an electric scooter battery shown here, and uh, that goes directly to the knife switch here. These two terminals in the the knife switch switches between battery charge mode, which is these two terminals in the back, and uh, uh, run mode, which is these two terminals in the front. And in battery charge mode, the battery is connected directly to two screw terminals, which are sticking out of the back of the case, which I will show you in a second. But in run mode, it connects the battery power directly to the square wave oscillator. Uh, and the ignition coils, and also the uh, it's also connected here to a diode to remove some high voltage uh, feedback. And it is a fairly simple circuit. I also have a uh, string tied here, which is just to make it easy to turn off without getting my hands down in all the electronics. I have it sh uh, here connected up to probably the simplest test device I have. Uh, a variable spark gap. And if I turn it on, you can see that uh, there's now a nice purple arc in the variable spark gap. Doesn't look like it's showing up too well on the camera, but that is a really nice purple arc. And if I adjust the frequency, you can definitely hear the change in frequency, and at lower frequencies, the arc changes into a series of sparks. And then, uh, now it's a nice arc again, but at a certain fre at a certain frequency, it drops off like that, and then uh, arc reforms, and I have my nice purple arc again. Then I can switch it off with uh, the string here, and this entire thing packs up quite nicely. It's very portable. All I have to do is unhook the front, the shelf. Uh, uh, rotates down like that. The entire thing uh, will close up into this fishing tackle box, which can be latched and also locked. And I have the lock on there to prevent people from messing with it when I am not around. And when the entire thing is locked and closed, it can be carried around it looks like a normal fishing tackle box, except for the uh, signs on the front, d dual ignition coil generator, and danger high voltage. And also the screw terminals, the two screw terminals on the front, there and there, are the high voltage terminals. And then the two terminals on the back are the uh, battery charge terminals, uh, right there, which, as I said, are connected directly to the battery when in battery charge mode.